Gun control advocates are taking their message to the state capitol with a Democratic governor and a House majority. Will these laws be discussed? Dennis Owens joins us live at the state capitol in Harrisburg with more. Good afternoon, Dennis. Good afternoon to you, James. Ceasefire PA taking to the steps of the capitol. That is not new. We are getting ready. The rally is about to start uh, in just a few moments. That's not new, but what is new, as you just mentioned, the dynamics here in Harrisburg. Democrats now control the state house, and of course, Governor Josh Shapiro, former attorney general, said he does support things like tougher background checks and uh, a ban on ghost guns and uh, red flag uh, laws, so-called red flag laws. Uh, and these are some of the things that those folks have pushed for for years unsuccessfully because they run headlong into Republicans in the legislature who are not supportive. There's lots of new lawmakers here as well as far as that dynamic. And one of them is going to speak today. His name is Arvin Venkat. He is an ER doctor who says he has seen firsthand the carnage that guns can cause. He's now a state rep. Here's what he told me just moments ago. This is a public health crisis and that we have the ability to reduce the harm from gun violence without affecting law abiding citizens. When we're talking about laws like red flag laws and safe storage laws and lost and stolen reporting and background checks, those do nothing to law abiding citizens who want to own a firearm. Actual meaningful difference in reducing gun violence. House Republican spokesman Jason Gottesman just told me moments ago, hey, Pennsylvania already has what is called by many a model when it comes to background checks. But we should note in Pennsylvania that gun show loophole still exists. You can go to a gun show and not have the same background check uh, and you can purchase a firearm. They also argue that these laws, criminals don't obey laws. So making more laws isn't going to make a dent in, in that gun violence, that it's more of a holistic approach we need to say take. There is no single bullet uh, when it comes to this. James, we also need to note that in Pennsylvania, gun rights are more protected uh, than the, in the Pennsylvania Constitution than they are even in the U.S. Constitution. So that's where we are. There is a new dynamic here. We'll see if there's any, uh, and there's new energy, but we'll see if that uh, leads to any new laws when it comes to uh, gun control. That's the story from the state capitol. Let's send it back to you. And Dennis, I'm just curious. So they have this rally here today at noon. Is there anything planned for after afterwards? Well, they've been actually there was stuff beforehand and afterwards where they go in and they try to talk to the staffs of the various uh, lawmakers. They call it lobbying day. So they're going to fan out throughout the state capitol and try to get their message to as many different lawmakers as they can. And based on the numbers of the people I see up there, there's a lot of them. Uh, they're going to probably hit each and every office inside the capitol. Dennis Owens live there at the capitol in Harrisburg. Thank you very much.